Getting more done in less time is every busy professional's definition of a productive day. Combining Dragon Medical Practice Edition with the Power Mic 2 allows medical professionals to achieve the dream of total efficiency. My name is Josh Stewart. Today I'm going to show you how to properly configure Dragon Medical Practice Edition with the Power Mic 2. Are you ready? Let's start by getting to know the products we're going to be working with today. Dragon Medical Practice Edition is the most advanced speech recognition application in the world. The Practice Edition was specifically designed for medical dictation. Now basically what this program does is it allows you to dictate into virtually any Windows based application. You can produce documents three times faster than typing. It includes 60 medical specialty and subspecialty vocabularies. It supports HIPAA regulations. It has full EMR and EHR support, has regional and global accent support, and is available in English, German, Dutch, and French. The PowerMic 2 is a handheld, programmable USB microphone specifically designed to enhance physician productivity. This microphone offers simplified thumb control operation for dictating, navigating, reviewing, editing, and speech recognition commands. The first thing we want to do is create a profile within Dragon Medical Practice Edition using the power mic as the dictation source. If this is your first time opening the application, a new profile creation wizard is going to appear. Essentially, this wizard is going to assist us with the profile creation process. I'll simply select Next to begin. Now, this new user wizard is conversational, so it's going to ask us questions. If we're ever curious of why they're asking the questions, there's links on all of these pages. Otherwise, fill in the information. I'll put Joshua. Select Next. I can choose my age or my age group per se. Select Next. My region, whether it's United States or Canada. And then I can go through and choose my vocabulary. Again, there are about 60 vocabulary and subspecialties to choose from. Choose the one that best fits your needs. Select Next. Your accent. Now again, Dragon does support regional and global accents, so go through and find the accent that best matches yours. And select Next. Now this is the part where it says, how do you want to talk to your computer? Now you see up on the top there, Power Mic 2 is selected as the default option. And that's simply because I have the Power Mic 2 plugged into my computer. If you do not see Power Mic 2 as an option, it just means you don't have it plugged into your computer. Select Power Mic 2 and go to Next. It's going to give you the ability to review your choices. If everything looks good, select Create. At this point, we're going to go through the audio setup, so select Next to continue. Select Start Volume Check and read the text that appears in the box until you hear a beep. While you are reading this, the computer will adjust your volume settings and then beep to signal that the process is complete. Speak into the microphone as if you are talking to a friend in person. It should only take about 10 seconds to complete this step. If you do not hear a beep, start reading again from the beginning until you do. While you are reading this, once I've heard my beep, I'll select Next to continue. And I'm essentially going to do the same thing here. For Dragon to recognize your voice accurately, it needs to check the quality of your audio system and your microphone. Speak into the microphone as clearly and naturally as you did in the previous step. While reading this, Dragon is listening to you and examining the quality of your audio. Once I've got that second confirmation beep, I can go ahead and select Next. This is going to give me the ability to go through the training, which essentially is allowing Dragon Medical Practice Edition to learn your voice. For this training, I'm going to go ahead and select Skip Training. However, I recommend that all of you do go through and select the option that says Show Text with Prompting. The system will ask to adapt and uh, essentially improve the accuracy. Make your selection and choose Next. 
again, it's now going to want data collecting. Data collecting is basically gathering acoustical information to submit to Nuance so that they can improve future versions. Make your selection and choose Next. I'll select Don't Run Data Collection. Congratulations, your profile is ready to use.